This is CNN Breaking News. All right, there's breaking news. There's a verdict now in the trial of a Navy SEAL accused of murder in the stabbing of an ISIS detainee. I want to go to CNN's Nick Watt. He's in San Diego outside the courthouse. So tell our viewers what uh, the jury decided. Well, Wolf, after about six hours of deliberation, the jury found Chief Eddie Gallagher not guilty on six counts, guilty only on one of the charges that he faced, and that was posing with the corpse of the young ISIS detainee who was dead, who Gallagher had been accused of murdering. He was cleared of that charge. Now, as the deliberation went on, it was beginning to look worse for Eddie Gallagher. We could see that they were beginning to get tense on that side of the courtroom. But this morning, the jury asked us to hear the testimony of the first uh, witness once again. And that was all about that scene in which Eddie Gallagher was alleged to have stabbed that ISIS detainee, but not guilty of all of those six serious charges, only guilty of posing with, with the corpse. And that that comes with a maximum sentence of four months behind bars, and Eddie Gallagher has already served more than that during pre-trial confinement. The official sentencing is going to begin in about a half hour from now, and both sides will argue over it, but it looks like Eddie Gallagher will face no more jail time. And also, very importantly, that charge of posing with the body the jury is not allowed to implement a dishonorable discharge on that. And that would have been a big problem for Eddie Gallagher because he could have lost all of his pension and his benefits. That is not open to them. So all he can be uh, sentenced with is up to four months in jail. And as I say, Wolf, he has already served this. Listen, this case has captivated like few other court martials have, partly because it gave us a little insight into the usually secretive world of the SEALs. And also, there was a bombshell dropped from the witness stand by one of Gallagher's fellow SEALs who had been called by the prosecution. And he said, yeah, I saw Eddie Gallagher stab this young ISIS detainee, but I actually killed him. Corey Scott, he said, I actually killed him. I put my finger over his trach cube tube and asphyxiated him because he was going to die anyway and I was scared that he was going to be tortured. Now, the, uh, the, the problem for the prosecution in this case was there was no forensic evidence, frankly. This was a crime scene, an inaccessible crime scene, far away in Iraq. There was no body, there was no autopsy. Even one of the forensic pathologists called by the prosecution said, I can't even determine a cause of death. So what this case rested on was those photos that Eddie Gallagher took with the corpse and also the testimony of the SEALs. But that was contradictory. Some SEALs said, yes, Ali, Eddie Gallagher did all this stuff. He stabbed a detainee. He fired his sniper rifle at innocent civilians. Other SEALs stood up and said he didn't. So it came down really to who the jury believed. And the jury believes Eddie Gallagher, who, by the way, did not testify himself, but they believe those SEALs who said we didn't see anything. But also, as I say, Wolf, it would have been very hard to convict beyond a reasonable doubt when there was zero forensic evidence. Wolf. A lot of na national attention on this court martial, on this trial. Thanks very much, Nick Watt, for that report.